everyone, welcome to Hermitcraft. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to show you what 100 days on the Hermitcraft server actually looks like. I'm new to Hermitcraft and honestly, I would have been very curious about this before I was actually on here. So let's do 100 days. Now it's a little hard to track because as you can see, we're currently on day 17,549, but that day goes up and down regardless of whether I'm on the server. Unfortunately, the server does not revolve around me. I know, I'm sad about it too. So I'm just gonna track the days manually. It should be pretty easy. The sun rotates and stuff. I can mark it down, it's fine. Today on day one, I need to prepare to do a ton of building in this episode. So normally before I set up a recording, I start getting organized of all the things that I may need and kind of just sorting all of my shulkers. I do this off camera normally. It's a little bit boring, not gonna lie, but you know, it's part of day one. It's what I gotta do. Why is there an egg? Okay, so I've noticed in all of my organizing that my moss supply is running quite low. So we're gonna go and get some more moss. Pretty chill day one so far, if I do say so myself. I've been farming moss down in this ravine here, just basically sinking it down even more. And then you get the hoe out like so. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. Okay, the sun is setting on day one and I have a fairly full inventory of moss. So I think we'll accept this. Quick sleep, and we're on to day two. Oh, whoa. Huh. That's weird. Um, maybe it's just because I'm so deep underground. Uh, the, the ground probably doesn't like me digging it up. I, I'm gonna leave. Moss collecting has been pretty good. I'm gonna sort this into its respective containers now. The next few Minecraft days go relatively the same. I need lots of materials for the builds that I'm going to do, and it's much easier to record an episode when you already have them done. So we're in the tree chopping area, and we spend a little bit of time here collecting up as many resources as I have the patience to. Is the, is the moon bigger? It's way bigger, right? Goose, goose. Goose, is the moon bigger? Goose, it fills up the whole window, goose. Goose? Goose, I feel like the moon might be bigger. Is this a normal occurrence on Hermitcraft, or am I going crazy? I feel like I might be going crazy. We'll sleep it off. It's fine. Uh, real quick. I have merch. If you like what you see here, then go check it out in the description down below. Yeah! There we go. There's the sun. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, Goose. Don't worry. It's fine. After a few days worth of wood chopping, we've got lots of progress made, which I'm very, very proud of. This should set us up well to do a bunch more custom trees and some shops around the place. We're currently on day five of gathering things to start an episode. And on this day, we visit the cow. We visit the cow. Hey, has anybody seen my cow? This is about the point in the episode where I message the hermits and make sure that cow has not done a murder. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I still use this starter area quite a bit, and one of the things that I use it for is melons and pumpkins. Very important. I can trade these, and I can also build out of them. What is that? Is that an Among Us character? Who's put an Among Us character in my gazebo? What is this? These are my villagers. They are lovely. They take my pumpkins from me. I try to make sure I get lots and lots of food from them before I begin recording an episode. It just makes things go a lot smoother. Thank you, villagers. Huh. Well, it's been a few nights now, and, and the moon is still really big. Is this- should I be concerned? Is this like a normal thing on the Hermitcraft server that happens? Maybe I should consult my neighbors. Need false. False! Hmm. False, 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 false! False! False? Gem? False. Uh, hey! Hi! What are you doing down there? Uh, well, it's more what's going on up there. Uh, can you, can you come up? Up, up here? Uh, yeah, one moment, let me just check some stuff away. Uh, okay, okay. what, what is it you need? <laughs> um, I just, you know, I think there's something going on in the sky. Uh, is there? You, you mean my eagle up there? No, not the eagle. Can we meet on the eagle though? Come on, come on. Up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Is it, uh, <laughs> oh. I shouldn't have looked that way. Yes, the big scary thing in the sky, maybe. Yeah, does this always happen on Hermitcraft? You... This is Not thing? normally. No, no, this oh. is actually something new. What's that? Um, 
kind yeah. of scary, isn't it? it? Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's rising as well, it feels like it's getting closer right now, which is kind Ooh, of terrifying. <laughs> I don't like it. Mm. Um, <laughs> what are we going to do? I decided maybe underground is best. That's kind of why I've been living underground. Oh, yeah. Well, not why I've been living there, but why I'm staying there, really. So that does let's, seem quickly, safer. let's hop down. Because I've been I've been building a little something down here. Okay. A bunker. Yeah. That's kind of smart, actually. You're very smart. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't, I, there's no guarantee a bunker's going to work. Uh, there's a list of things. Um, maybe support ignore those. chicken. I like support yes. chickens. I can remember I support cow. Really quite helpful. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'll bring a chicken. You bring a cow. Maybe, maybe we should do a duo. A duo bunker. Yeah. That'd be maybe. fun. Ah. We could, we could be safe together down here. Me, you, and stress. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, where do we build this thing? Should we build it uh, by the lump, maybe, or something? Oh, the lump will be perfect. Right. Uh, you know what? A bunker would be very helpful to to, to save us from the zombies, too. Agree. Uh, agree. <laughs> we definitely need a bunker at the lump. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down here, maybe, somewhere. Uh, yeah. It's kind of good for this. Yeah. Oh, wait. You've already... Yeah, look. Found... Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that happened underground as well. I thought I was safe underground. <laughs> that's horrible, false. Okay. Yeah, that... You know what? I'm a little more scared than I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here's a, here's a good spot. Yeah, let's start digging this out. I think we might need this sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We need it now. I had such a great time working with False here. Working on these underground areas is something that I didn't do a lot this season. And it was honestly so fun to design the interior, even if it's not that realistic for a bunker. It's not a big deal. It's just for fun. False and I got to hang out quite a lot. And I loved that as a great start to the first collab in this 100 days challenge. We did it, False. It's looking good. We did it. We've planned out the bunker and it's looking kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's very cool. What a good bunker. We could live here for like 100 years, right? Yeah, I think that's the plan, right? Uh -huh. 100 years? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. 100 years. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I guess we'll, we'll catch up with one another again when these are, yeah. these are all done. Sounds nice. Good. It takes a lot longer than it looks to do collabs. It's a lot of just chilling and talking, to be honest. <laughs> But we are all friends on this server, so it's fun to be able to catch up with everybody in chat and not always be recording and productive. The moon's probably not actually getting bigger, right? Right? I'm sure it's just some weird science experiment that my neighbors are doing. It, oh, oh. Okay, I think, I think I made it angry. Um... It's fine. And more importantly, it's time to work on the base again. So I've been thinking, this cottage core area is missing stuff and that stuff is atmosphere. So it's time to work on some of the builds in this place, like this cafe build right here. I'm not exactly sure how many days of building this is going to take, but we did tons of preparation, so hopefully not too many. The footprint for this build is gonna be pretty small, I think, but I like it. These builds that I'm doing on Hermitcraft haven't had a ton of depth. They're fairly simple, but they work out really well, I think, for the space, and it allows me to do a cool interior. Not that I have any plans on doing anything other than procrastinating the interior, so let's just focus on the exterior for now. This only takes a couple of days, luckily. I love marking out my structures with a frame. I tend to plan these out a little bit in creative mode first and then work out some of the details over in survival mode. Honestly, it's worked out so far. It's a Ren! Hey, Jim. Hi, Ren. How's it going? Oh, I'm wonderful. I'm just filling up my pond. What are you doing? Streaming. Streaming? Oh, hi, chat. Hi. We're actually like spying on interiors. Oh. Because I'm terrible at interiors, so I'm trying to like steal some ideas. Uh-huh. How's that going? So they told me to come and look at your interiors because they right. said you do good 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 ones. Yeah, they they're lying to you a little bit cuz most of these builds don't have interiors, but you're welcome to go uh, inside the big base. Excuse me. What what's the what's the sword about? Oh, uh nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I am now scared. I, you guys are the weird neighbors with the spider leg machines. I gotta be a little careful. Come on. That's true. I mean, they're relatively harmless, all the machines. <clears throat> Rel rel yeah. Relatively. Yes. Do you mm. mind if I go take a quick look in your yeah, in, in here? At go the on. Interiors? Yeah, yeah. All you. Okay, Come awesome. on. You can even have a tour if you want. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, th please. This is the front entrance. It's got my secret vault in it that uh, you totally don't know anything about. And then you can come okay. upstairs, 
and this is like an entrance way, and then I have a map room up here. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this your own skull? Yeah, you don't display your own skull around? Um, I'm getting <laughs> more nervous as this tour progresses. Oh, Ren, come on. I'm your super kind, lovely cottagecore neighbor. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, and then up the stairs we have my favorite room. Got okay. all the paintings on the way up. And this is my mm. library. Ooh, now we're cooking with gas. Now this is what I'm talking about. I like it. Here. Oh, I cozy. love the fact that the, the bookshelves are like... Um, different levels and whatnot, whatever. Look, look at, can, can we just talk about the freaking moon taking up the entire yeah, window? It's a little scary, isn't it? Yeah, it is scary. But okay. then we have Goose's garden. Have you met Goose? This is Goose. Hello, Goose. Hi. Goose is on constant watch, uh, mostly over you guys. Uh, but you've Do been you good, like so it's been fine. He doesn't like carrot. Mm, yeah, I think he prefers uh, flesh of enemies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just go around him then. There we go. Oh, he is keeping watch. Yeah, you got a great view of all the weirdness. Yeah, going on I have over a great there. view nice. of all of you. It's perfect. Yeah. And with that lovely tour, that about sums up how building goes for the cafe. Lots of distractions along the way, but the cafe is well underway, and I would say the exterior is pretty much done. And it didn't take too long. It took about six days. So that's not bad, really. That's about an hour if you sleep every night, which I generally do. Not too bad. It looks pretty cute, I think. Of course, the interior is still not complete, but we've got a lot of days yet to go before we get to 100. So let's continue on. There's, there's a lot of inspiration to be had. Grr. Everybody's worried about me because I went AFK in the Creeper game. <laughs> I should probably in somewhere in these hundred days actually light up my base. That would probably be good. Excuse me, creeper. I'd like that back. Thank you. I'm not very creeper proof. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> that tends to happen to me a lot because I like watching live streams and like videos and movies or listening to music while I'm working. And then I get distracted and tab out and die. It's fine! It's fine. I'm totally fine. Um, let's fill that hole, shall we? Okay, hole patched. Ego is recovering. Let's carry on. You know what? That's giving me some inspiration, actually. There's a hole that we need to dig, and it's this river! So, let's spend the next few days working over here. Hey, chicken. River is looking absolutely fantastic. All that I have to do now is basically just break this. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, obviously I've got to add quite a lot more detail to it, but it's going well. That is a fairly successful river, I think, but it needs a lot more details. And luckily filling it into this point only took two days, two Minecraft days to do all of this. And granted it's not much, but still. Now I suppose we have time for all the details. River has been beautified. It's perfect. And with plenty of time to spare to build another organic because that is meant to be a friend for them. A friend that I have yet to build and so I feel we must do it now. After all, if the moon's getting bigger, everybody needs a friend on the server. And honestly, this friend wasn't even that bad to build. Considering the last time I built a deer on Hermitcraft, I had no wings. With wings, considerably easier. Was a really good time. Only took about five days. I got to watch a podcast while I was doing it. It was perfect. Great vibes. I enjoyed this build. This deer is very friend-shaped. I love them. Look. <laughs> It's like they're investigating whoever has come up to the front doors of my palace. I love it. You just approach from this way. You've got one standing guard overhead and you've got one bending down to greet you. Oh, they make me so happy. I genuinely love them. I think they're a fantastic addition to the Woodland Palace. All of this building so far has only taken 35 Minecraft days. We're on day 36 at the moment, and this is a long video so far, so if we want to get to 100 days before the video ends, we have to speed up the process, I think. 
I'm using this video as a reason to stop procrastinating, and one of the things that I've been procrastinating is tree building and lighting up the surroundings, as well as just generally organizing all of this, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is literally the starting tree. It's... <laughs> it's kind of nostalgic. I, I don't really want to get rid of it. I think it just needs to be upgraded a little bit. And so, upgrade I did. We fixed up the birch tree, and by day 37, we were working on lighting up the place. On the morning of day 39, I looked up and realized we were missing something. Flowers. But flowers cost money, and so it was time for a mining session. Day 40 takes us underground into our old mine, and basically I just dig in a straight line while watching a movie in real life. The entire expedition takes 13 days total, and I emerge on day 53 of this challenge with my ego rather inflated. I'm rich! I'm rich! Look at all these diamonds! Oh my goodness, I've actually managed to collect so much. In general, I had a lot of ores before, but diamond is something I haven't mined for in a while, so very pleased with that. Of course, I am going to do the ultimate gamer flex and pile these diamonds as high as they'll go and then break them all at once. Yes. This pleases me. So, I've got my fortune three pick, and I'm just gonna see how many we get. Oh my goodness, I've got so many already. <gasps> We're up to a stack? Stack and two? Oh my goodness. We just got a full stack and then 49 diamonds. I'm rich! <laughs> Now, I won't lie, I was already doing fairly well on the whole diamond front. Eh, case in point. <laughs> but these are vault diamonds, and these are spending diamonds, which means we get to go on a shopping spree and close up the vault. Some of these get to go in the ender chest for safekeeping, but I'm gonna take some of these diamonds now and see if we can't go shopping. What are the rabbits doing? Ah, I mean, okay. Come on, moose, it's time for a horseback ride. The shops around the server this season are spread throughout all of our different bases, so that means we get to do a bunch of visiting now. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this place is looking incredible. I wanted to come here to see if there are any flowers in stock. There are! Look, pink tulips! Okay, yes please, don't mind if I do. Some moon daisies, yes please. Oh, some white tulips. Yes, indeed. I love coming to the flower forest shops. We've got so much. And the moon is rising. Hit, did it? Did it get bigger? It's okay, Moose. Don't worry. I'll sleep. It'll go away. Next stop is iJevin Swamp, which is looking fantastic. Oh my gosh. Jevin's got a couple of shops. I'm going to quickly see what's in stock. Shulker boxes. Okay. Bone block. Two stacks, one diamond. But you know what? I will take some bone block. Next stop, the big eyes. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what these guys sell, but this is epic looking. Is that a battleship? Why is there a battleship? Big Hat Cake Shop. It's a cake shop? Like a bakery? Oh, 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 oh! This place is not as welcome as it seems. Moose? Moose, this is not the time for frolicking in the fields, Moose. Huh. Okay, um... This place scares me. Cub Fans Canyon. Moose, we're gonna have to tread very carefully in here. It's definitely a canyon. Moose, you just sit there for a moment. Uh, this is dangerous work. Oh, here we go. Here's some shop info. I want this one. Double drip. Plop on and we're open. One diamond for three stacks. One diamond for three stacks. Oh, that's a steal. You know, I think I'm gonna pass on the uh, piping hot lava. Thanks though, Cub. Bodum is an epic place to shop as well. I definitely want some stuff from here. Here we go, 64 blocks for a diamond. I love this block. Definitely one of my favorites. I'll also go ahead and buy some honeycomb so I can wax things at my base. I haven't been by Harmless Harvests in a while, so I figure I'll check it out. Oh, do you know what? I actually could use some more potatoes from my farms. Oh, it's so lovely. Impulse has moss for sale. I can't, I can't resist moss. Honestly, I think this has been the weirdest shopping trip of my life. But I'm happy. Even after that shopping trip, I'm feeling quite wealthy. So, I think it's about time that we show off our cottagecore riches. In the only way that I know how. A tree. We're building a tree. That 
is a pretty good tree so far, if I do say so myself. It'll be perfect for our tree of wealth. <laughs> for anyone wondering how I've tracked the days while I've been building this, I've been the only one online for this entire recording session, so it's just how many times I've slept. <laughs> Which at this point is eight. It took eight days to build that tree. I've picked out a couple of things to decorate the tree of wealth with, and I think this is gonna go very well. So basically, I think I'm gonna hang diamond blocks directly from the branches. This is probably one of the weirder things I've ever done, but I think it'll look pretty cute, especially with a lantern. <laughs> okay, I won't lie, it looks a little bit silly, but I kinda love the flex. I think I'll end up hiding a bunch in the leaves as well, but for now, that's really cool. With the Tree of Wealth well underway, I think it's finally time for a break. For a horseback ride, with a friend! Oh god! Oh god, Pearl! Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, he looks a bit angry. Is he stuck? Is he... He ain't gonna move. I think they get stuck on bushes. Okay. That's number one. He's, he's targeted on me. Actually, what if you smash it? And then I can get... I can run, because he's targeted to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, there he is. Pearl, Pearl. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, I don't want to lead him through all your trees. I'm sorry. It's okay. Lead him wherever you can. Do you know where the cow pen is? Uh, the, yes. Oh, wait, he's on yes. me. He's on me. Ah! Oh, okay. You got it. You got it. Cow, 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 cow. Oh, gosh. Hey, buddy. Oh, he smashed the bush. You're getting it. You're good. You're good. He's going in. He's following you. And he's in. See you that. Who needs to fly when we have two <sighs> trophy horses? That was stressful. <laughs> it was beautiful. We did it. It was easy. I'm so proud of us. Yeah. Hi, cow. Hello. Can I boop the snoot? You can. You can. Boops. <laughs> I got the boops. <laughs> I don't have a button. I want a boops. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a very noisy noise. <laughs> wait, wait, noisy noise? Yes, English noisy is noise. good. Uh huh. I can English chat, I'm like noise English. One of the bestest thing about an SMP is the people. Pearl and I rode our horses and chatted about just about everything for a very long time. So long, in fact, that we ended up back at our own bases, chatting and working. She peer pressured me into organizing my chess monster and overall, we just had a great and very chill time. Typically, any collab ends up taking much longer than they appear on camera just because of this sort of stuff. There's nothing quite like a good hangout with a friend to make the days go quickly. But speaking of days going quickly, we really gotta get to work. Luckily, there's a place just over here that needs a potion house. And I am very excited to build a potion house concept. So let's get to work in a good old fashioned time lapse. Potion shop for day 81. Very fitting in my books as we've been waiting to build one here for quite a while. I loved building this, but it did take a little extra long, I'll admit, because I was spending a lot of time on Twitter looking at the MCC team. Very hype. Ta-da! It's a potions house. Now, it's missing a couple of key details still, but I wanted to do this giant flower coming out of it as if somebody was working on the inside and accidentally tipped the potion out the window and it spread it a sunflower. It's a pretty cute sunflower though, not gonna lie. <laughs> All of this building has left me extremely unorganized, which is a real shame because Pearl literally just made me organize. In more pressing news though, this video is currently on day 80 something. I'll let editing me fill that in. Thank you, editing me. Which means we are getting extremely close to the end of this challenge and boy oh boy has it been a challenge. Especially for my tools. They're looking a little worse for wear to be honest and I think that it's finally time to repair them. One of the really handy things we have on the Hermitcraft server is this nether portal system that allows us to go to different areas. And one of those areas is the stronghold. And once we go down here and find the correct portal, I believe it's this one, we'll be able to jump straight into the end. Whoa, it's beautiful. And then we just do a quick trust fall. Yeah, huh? Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. And head right over this way to kill some endermen. Since I have mending on a lot of my gear, I'll be able to heal it up real quick here. It's extremely satisfying. I love it. Everything is just as it should be. The end island on Hermitcraft looks incredible. And I don't have a home bed. Well, I do have a home bed, I just continuously carry it around with me. You know, they really need to invent sleeping bags in Minecraft. You know, actually, speaking of home bed, 
There's something I've wanted to try. If I land this MLG water bucket, you have to subscribe, okay? That's the rules. I just made them. That's the rules. We're gonna go from right here. <laughs> Should be a pretty easy MLG, right? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! No! Fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. All right. If I land this MLG water bucket, you have to subscribe. Hold on, we sleep it off, we try again. Right, you know the rules, we're subscribing. Huh, I did it, I did it. You have to subscribe now. It, I know it took three tries, but we pretend, please. Uh, I did it. Radio, right we pick that back up and we continue on with our day. Like it never happened. And I believe there are quite a few things left to work on, so let's get to work on them. Oop. Given the amount that I was building, things were getting fairly unorganized around the place, but I decided it was the perfect opportunity to finally work on some of the more empty areas of my interior. I mean, when else was I gonna wanna put off procrastinating this sort of thing? So we went around a bunch of couches, some bookshelves, random pots, paintings, you know, interior stuff, and I just gave my base a lot of attention in these few days. I loved it. Then I went to pick up some more food from the lovely farmers and got to work on the outside, adding a bunch of extra trees to make this place look very woodlandy. And by day 99, we were working on more trees, planting some flowers, and then it was over, just like that. Could it be everyone? Day 100. Oh boy, it's day 100. 100 day challenges are a lot of work. So on day 100, I would just like to relax at my base. Hello, there will be no fighting on my dear's butts. Please, thank you. I'm really proud of all of the changes that I've been able to make to my base in 100 days. Honestly, it's been really nice just to relax and work around my base for 100 full days. I feel like I made a ton of progress and I'm very proud of it, even if it was just the small stuff like bushes. Anyways, everyone, that is it for 100 days on Hermitcraft SMP. This SMP has been a lot of fun to be a part of, and I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with next. Now, I'm gonna go spend the rest of my day 100 with Goose. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, am okay. I facing the right way? Um, I can't see you. Yep, you're facing the right way. I think. Come on! <laughs> oh, are we going? Okay. <laughs> That's such no. a good shot. I love that. Is it? I need to see that. <laughs> oh!